right in this video I'm gonna show you how a problem I ran into while using flip fluids and one way to solve the problem pretty simply now what I'm trying to do here I have a uh, inflow object right here shooting water out and then it's supposed to land on the car now the problem is this car body even though it's a collision object it's not a properly um, it's not a proper object to be used in fluid simulations. It's a non-manifold object. Basically, it's a plane in the shape of a car body. There's no volume to it. And um, my understanding is uh, collision objects need to, need to be enclosed. They need to have volume. Otherwise, the fluid, fluid engine doesn't know how to treat it. All right, right now it's baking and I'm going to show you even though the car right now body is selected and it's set as an obstacle in flip fluids but if I was to scroll through this one frame at a time you can see it just go right through the car and come right out the bottom let me go ahead and stop this and I'll show you how to go about fixing this without having to re-engineer this body uh, into a manifold object so I'm gonna go back to the beginning and I'm just going to create a cube and then make sure this car body is inside this cube add mesh cube all right and go to side view actually I'm gonna go to wireframe grab the cube stick it there scale on the Z axis that's about right grab Z scale it on the x-axis to make it big enough this way grab X now I'm not concerned about the wheels the wheels are manifold objects and they're collision objects they work just fine it's just the body I'm I need to make sure works go to side view center it grab Y and then scale Y so basically, I have a car and a cube, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and press Control A and apply the scale, you don't really need to. I'm gonna press Tab to go into edit mode. And then I'm just going to use this uh, um, loop cut. I'm just gonna click once there and then turn this up to about 50. Go the other direction, turn it up to about 25 and then go around the sides and turn it up to about 25. Now, on a more simple object, something not as complicated as a car body, you could get by with the less loop cuts and you would probably want to use less loop cuts. But the loop cuts is so that the modifier we add here in a minute will work. Press tab to get out of uh, edit mode and then come over here to the modifiers tab add modifier and then come down here to shrink wrap now shrink wrap is basically what it sounds like it's gonna make this cube into something like shrink wrap which wraps around the car body now the target is the car shell alright see it just kinda wrapped itself around there now what we want to do at this point we have to apply this Control, apply. Now, come down here to the physics tab, click on flip fluids, make that into an obstacle. Now we can actually select a car body and we can turn the obstacle off on it. If we turn it off, the simulation will be a little bit quicker. All right. Now we can take this uh, shrink wrapped object and we can actually hide that so we're not actually seeing it. Oh, where's it at? And we, we'll want to hide it in both the uh, um, viewport and in the render. render. Alright, now let's click bake. Alright, it's up to frame 10 so we'll go ahead and kind of scroll through the animation frames still got about probably 
10 to 15 more frames to simulate before it makes impact with the car. And you can see by the fluid that we don't have very many sub steps. And there you go, you got impact with the car. Now, yeah, it actually looks pretty good. The impact, of course, I'm using a fairly low resolution here. I'm only running 256 resolution. And you do have a little bit of a gap in here, but for the most part, once you're using a proper clear fluid, you're not going to notice that gap unless you're right up like this. And you're only going to notice it for a few seconds at a few seconds when the fluid's in this specific position. But anyway, that's a good way to make a non-manifold object work as a collision object, or at least fake it so it looks like it is. But anyway, hope that was helpful to people. If you have any questions, let me know. Later, people.